Yo, yo, what's going on out there, fight? What is your boy Money back with another one, fam? And this one here is on two legends in this fight game. We have Andre SOG Ward, the man who haven't lost a fight since he was 11 or 12 years old, Olympic gold medalist, and a man that's two division world champion, and most definitely a future Hall of Famer. Then we have Canelo Alvarez, the four division world champion, the undisputed super middleweight world champion, a Mexican legend, and most definitely will go down as the greatest Mexican fighter of all time when his career is over with. But Canelo want to let Andre Ward know, stop hating on me, bro. Stop hating on me, right? Why every time you open up your mouth about me, you got to say some negative shit? You understand? Andre Ward just came out and said Canelo Alvarez has faced top opponents past their prime. Negative, bro. Negative. You understand? Ward, let Canelo live, bro, and let Canelo finish his career out. You know, a lot of people got a lot to say about Canelo Alvarez, but, but won't let him finish his career out. And then when we look at Andre Ward resume, we look at Canelo Alvarez resume, Canelo has a better resume than Andre Ward. Yeah, people not gonna like to hear that. Canelo Alvarez has a better resume than Andre Ward. Andre Ward biggest names are fighters that are European fighters. You understand? But Canelo fight European fighters in their bums, right? But they, these boys are in their prime, undefeated world champions. But Canelo is fighting fighters that's past their prime? We have to stop it. We have to stop it. Every time Ward opened up his mouth about Canelo, bro, it's always something negative. It's never nothing positive. Now, Ward is one of my favorite fighters of all time. I take up for this man when Kess was trying to get on him. But I got to keep the same energy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me do my boy IBFP. I got to keep that same energy. You understand? Come on now, Ward. You can't, you can't come out here and try to hit Canelo with the shit that people was hitting you with. Oh, you only beat up European fighters, right? So you want to look at Canelo and discredit that man's resume? Ward, you told Canelo to stay away from Dimitri Bevel and Arthur better be. That's, that's like no fighter should tell no fighter to stay away from nothing if a man feel like they want to go up and try to create history, bro. You know what I'm saying? If Canelo stayed in two weight classes, he'll still be undefeated right now. Undefeated. You only fought in two weight classes, Ward. Two, my boy. Two. Understand? So you can't sit up here and try to criticize Canelo Alvarez. And when we look at the names on your resume, you brought Chad Dawson down, bro. You brought him down. You didn't fight him at his best. Canelo Alvarez is moving up fighting these cats in their, in their um, weight divisions. Understand what I'm saying? Now, you went up and fought Kovalev at 175. I give you that. You beat him twice. But Canelo beat him too, bro. Canelo knocked his ass out in a better, better and impressive fashion. You feel me? Canelo became undisputed at the super middleweight division where you reigned at almost your entire career. You never went undisputed at, at, at super middleweight, bro. You know what I mean? And, and, and the competition that you fought is just as good as the competition. Sorry, the competition that Canelo fought is just as good as the competition that you fought at 168. Canelo whooped the shit out of Corey Frost. Canelo whooped the shit out of Mikael Kessler. Canelo whooped the shit out of Arthur Abraham, bro. Like, boy, you need to put some respect on Canelo's name and get that man some credit for, for doing what he's doing in this boxing game. You feel me? What I'm looking at, Ward, I think you're looking at Canelo and you're looking at, you know, his, 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 the, the praises and the love that he get, you know, first of all, first and foremost, from his people, the Mexican people, the Latino community that should be proud of Canelo Alvarez, right? And then the rest of the fan base, like, I like Monty Brown, the black community, and, and, and the England community, and everybody else that love Canelo Alvarez as a fighter. You feel me? Like I said, I love Andre Ward as a fighter. One of my favorites of all fucking time. You understand what I'm saying? But I'm going to speak my mind, and I'm going to speak it well. You know, every time Ward opened up his mouth about Canelo, it's never nothing good, bro. It's not. Like, every time now you're coming out saying that he facing competition past their prime, who are you talking about? Name him. I need you to name him. Because Monty Brown go break it down. You feel me? I'm going to break it down. Now, when he fought Sugar Shane Mosley, look how old Canelo Alvarez was. And that was an experienced fight. And Shane Mosley held his own. But it's okay for Benoit Hopkins to go out there and continue to fight at, at 40 plus years of age and win, he get praises. But when the young boys beat the, 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 the old legends that still got some in the tank, then they fight them past their prime, right? 
Canelo Alvarez, who you gonna say? Kovalev? Kovalev wasn't past his prime. He wasn't past his prime. He was a world champion. Um, Miguel Cotto, he was a world champion. And he agreed to fight at 155. You understand what I'm saying? Don't say Floyd, because Floyd was in his fucking prime. I don't want nobody to talk about 36 years old. No, sir, ski. Floyd said out of his own mouth he was in his prime. You feel me? Now, when we get to Callum Smith, Billy Joe Saunders, Caden Plant, Demetri Bivar, undefeated world champions, them boys in their prime. When we talking about Erslandi Larver at his best, that man was in his prime. Angolu was in his prime. James Kirkland was in his prime. Um, um, Liam Smith was in his prime. American wasn't in his prime, but he still was young. He wasn't no washed up motherfucker. You understand me? So y'all can hate on Canelo all y'all want to. But when it comes to this man, this man put that work in. This man put that work in. You feel me? People hate on Canelo because he's a fucking superstar in the boxing game. And the money that he pulled in, they couldn't touch it. People get jealous looking at Canelo pulling in them big ass um, eight-figure paydays, bro. They get jealous looking at Canelo pulling in them eight-figure paydays, bro, and watch Canelo get the praises he, 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 he get. And not just from the fans, but from his peers. Yeah, Earl Spence praised him. Yeah, Terrence Boyd Crawford praised him. Yeah, Devin Haney praised him. Shakur Stevenson praised him. Floyd Mayweather praised him. And the list goes on and on. I repeat, the list goes on and on. You know what I'm saying? It ain't just the fans giving him his just due, right? But then you got, you know, a lot of haters out here that hate on Canelo. You know, if you ain't got no haters, you ain't doing something right. You feel me? That they try to take that Clem Bruderall situation and just try to dismantle his entire career when the man proved himself to be not guilty. Yeah, the man proved himself to be not guilty. He went out there and did what he had to do. But people are praising Roy Jones. People are praising Mike Tyson. People are praising Vanna Holyfield. People are praising James Tony. People are praising motherfucking Shane Mosley. You know what I mean? Antonio Torva. And I can go on and on, fam. They get praised, but they got they they pop dirty. They all took steroids. They all took steroids. Canelo um, ate some bad meat that had clenbuterol in it that couldn't even help him out, couldn't even help an ant. And y'all try to just use that to discredit his entire career. Y'all try to say he nick pick and cherry pick, but he fighting world champions. He fighting world champions. Floyd Mayweather nick pick and cherry pick, but nobody ain't say nothing about it. Oscar De La Hoya nick pick and cherry pick. But nobody ain't say nothing about it. Sugar Ray Leonard. Roy Jones even did it to a certain extent. Even though he tried to act like he never did it, he did it. He wanted his money. You understand what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, bro, when y'all look at Canelo Alvarez, this man's career is still ongoing. Let this man finish out his career and let's see where his legacy end up at. All the fighters y'all want to see him fight, he go fight them. He go fight them. But let them do something too. But like I say, once he go whip Jamal, y'all gonna make excuses. Y'all gonna say, oh, Jamal here went in the game. Then when he whipped Benavidez ass, y'all gonna say he was too young. And, um, you know, Canelo waited so long, he tried to wait, drain him. Y'all gonna make up all this shit. You feel me? He had knocked Demetrius on, dry the ass out cold. I mean cold. You feel me? And, 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 you know, they never met. But if Canelo and Ward was to fight, that'd be a hell of a fight. That'd be a hell of a fight. You feel me? Canelo would hold his own. Andre Ward would hold his own, and it's a 50-50 toss-up. You never know what's going to happen in that fight. You understand? So right now, bro, I just look at this. Everybody is out to try to discredit Canelo Alvarez and, and, and you know, try to tarnish that man's career in his legacy. But y'all can't, bro. Y'all can't. Because Canelo Alvarez, you know, he solidified his shit. The boy is, 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 is set in stone, bro. It's set in stone. And he still continue to fight. Like I said, he want to fight till he's 37, 38. When he finished, he'll go down as the greatest Mexican fighter of all time. Yeah, I'm going to repeat that. When he finished, he'll go down as the greatest Mexican fighter of all time. You know what I'm saying? Chavez Senior already announced that. You feel me? So I just don't know why every time Andre Ward got to say something about Canelo, it got to be negative, bro. When you just seen that man last three fights was undefeated world champions, bro. Undefeated world champions. And once again, Andre Ward, you know once you get to that level, you know how hard it is to stay at that level. You know how hard it is to stay at that level, bro. But Canelo Alvarez go out there day in, day out, and bust his ass to be great. Bust his ass to be great. Only for y'all to come out here and shit on him and try to take his credibility away. 
Understand what I'm saying? Take that man credibility away. But I'm gonna put everything in a proper perspective. Canelo Alvarez is a bad motherfucker, a legend, and deserve all the respect. So put some respect on that man's name. Canelo, Monty Brown got your back until my casket drop. Until then, it's your boy Monty saying SBC moving and nobody's safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. You want to donate OG Money on Cash App? Trey out to 52 at gmail.com or PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend, hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.